All right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, man. I'm gonna keep it light and smooth with y'all, like real quick, man. This gonna be this gonna be nice and easy, nice and easy. Shout out to the Boston Celtics. I don't like them. I hate them. You know, um, uh, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. You know, like them as people. You know what I'm saying? But as a as a whole and a collective, you know, forget the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? But uh, rest in peace, rest in peace to uh, Bill Walton, man. Rest in peace to Bill Walton. He passed away yesterday, battling um. In cancer, uh, 71 years old. Rest in peace to that man. But man, um, just just get that out the way. But Celtics that has advanced to the NBA Finals. There, they're going to represent the Eastern Conference. And I just wanted to get out the way. This was the easiest path to the Eastern Conference Final or or the NBA Finals I have ever seen in my lifetime. I, I really can't think of one that was easier. You had um, who we got. They played Miami Heat, banged up Miami Heat, and it's it's not their fault that these teams are banged up, but no Jimmy Butler, the star player, uh, beat them, got them out the way 4-1. Uh, went, went ahead, played the Cavs, who competed as much as they could, but they had injuries. They had Jared, had the um, Jared Allen out. Um, they had Spider out like few games. They wanted one of the star players. I mean, their star player. Um, accounts for most of their points. Um, yeah, yeah, and they went and they, Cavs previously in the first round got to the Celtics by going seven games with Orlando. So they were already, you know, tired, beat up, all kind of stuff. Again, not making any excuses. It is how it is. That's why you go for the first seed. That's how you go. Why you, why you try to win every game during the regular season so you get favorable seeding. But these injuries just catching up to them. And Boston, in fairness, is dealing with their own injuries. They have um, um, Perzingis, um, who's been out for, for a while now, a month and a half, I want to say. And he may come back for the finals, and that might be a key piece, um, seeing who they're going to go against, um, which is most likely going to be Dallas, um, with, with what the, st the statistics say. But they're not out yet. They're going to play tonight, um, Minnesota and Dallas is. But, yeah, just the easiest the easiest pass. And then they... And then they Played the Pacers. Pacers, you know, who I don't like I said, bad coaching, bad situational basketball, you know, inexperience, you know, just all across the board. And they the Pacers gave them a run for the money every single time, but that is not enough if you can't get the W. Celtics just way more experienced, way more talented. Um they they have they're way more calm under control. Didn't make that many mistakes. The mistakes they made, they capitalized on it down the road. It's just, they were just too much for them at the end, you know. Shout out to Jalen Brown. He got the um, the uh, Larry Bird, coincidentally, um, Eastern Conference Finals MVP, something they've been doing for a few seasons now. Congratulations to him because it could have went either way. could have went to him or Jason Tatum. But, but um, yeah, Jalen Brown really brought them through, especially for game one. So they, they're going to have a long time to rest um, because – who knows? Minnesota might win tonight. They might extend it a little bit, or they might get swept too. But it's gonna be real interesting. I just, I just do not like the path. Halliburton was hurt a little bit, um, and they still was like in, in, in. Pacers was still in it, but it's just inexperienced, too young. I, I ain't gonna see him say too young. It's just not about youth. It's just about situational basketball experience. Um, you could be young or not. You know, um, are you a vet like where you can? Preserve the energy, you know, because to go to go this deep into the playoffs. But Pacers has a bright future ahead of them, you know what I mean? Uh, but I just don't see it. I see the bottom bracket. I was like, the Knicks was hurt. Knicks, uh, who you had? Milwaukee was hurt. Um, you, you know, Orlando just getting in there. It's just, I, I, I ain't never seen an easier path to the, <laughs> to the, <laughs> to the playoffs. I'm, I'm just like, oh, man. What, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Congratulations, Boston Celtics, man. You know what I'm saying? I just I just hope I'm looking at the Western Conference like like come on. Come on, fam. You know, you you got you gotta play. You gotta play the Lakers in the first round, Clippers, you gotta you gotta play Denver, you gotta you know, you got you just each round is is, is an essential Western Conference final matchup. You know, Oklahoma City, Thunder, you know, like man, oh, West is tough. And they just beat each other up, so 
man, ooh, I just hope the West, whoever comes out the West, I just hope the West win because, you know, we still tied up 17-17. Lakers, 17 championship, sell the 17 championship, and I do count the bubble. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look it up, 2020, who's NBA champion? The Lakers. I don't care if it's, hey, it's not, not, not our fault. It's a pandemic, just like it's not the Celtics' fault that they're facing people. All these teams just banged up and stuff, you know, and just pretty much garbage anyway. So, anyway, I digress, man. You know, I just want to do this quick unboxing real quick, man. You know, like I always do, um, this one goes back to my childhood. If you remember the last ones, I showed you um, that I did an unboxing one was uh, the highs, the, the AJ1 highs, um, burgundy and white. So these are the same color, same kind of sign, but they're the dunks. These are the ones I actually had. These are the ones I actually had when I was, um, you know, youngster in high school, you know. But um, when I finally got them, like I said, I got some for my son. And they came back on the um, website, Nike website. I wish they had them back then because I had to get them from House of Heat. And they was taxing back then when my son wanted them. But I got, you know, I got my uh, my dunks, you know. I got my dunks. I got my dunks, man. I got my dunks, man. You know, had these in high school. There's one other pair that I wish I could get. They were um, black and gray. I don't know if they'll ever bring those back out. But, man, now you know, I'm... I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper, man. I'm a happy camper right here, you know. I'm gonna wear these with the shorts, you know. Wear the highs with some, some uh, pants, you know. And uh, so I mean, like the same shoes, same kind of design. This is a little, little bit of a difference, you know what I mean? But you know, um, you know, dunks are, dunks are like overly. They're oh, they're saturating them, the, you know. A lot of youngsters wearing them now, but uh, I don't see a lot of wearing these. You know, the pandas. Is, is the crazy one so everybody's got everybody got the pandas man so but uh i'm happy i got my hands on these these are keepers you know and um you know let me know what y'all think about those um yay or nay no matter what man let me know what y'all think about anything that i'm talking about in the comments you know um is it, whether it's about the Celtics, whether it's about the playoffs man it's just I'm on, I'll be sad when basketball goes away, man, because it's not going to be a lot to talk about for except for free agency and stuff like that until football comes out, you know, dog days of summer, you know, and dog days of sports, like I like to call it, you know, and I only like to pay attention to, to um, basketball when, um, when uh, or excuse me, yeah, baseball, when, when it's like the pennant race is heating up and we're going to work playoffs and stuff like that. So, I'm hearing like a, a beat. I don't know. We gonna get off of this real quick. But anyway, uh, sorry, I ain't, gonna, uh, I ain't got a good message for you right now uh, today because I gotta get off here real quick. But you know, long live Pooh Bear, long live D Mac, Inglewood Dog.